Um. Yes. Eleven level up. Oh, it's four attacks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then she's good where she is, I think. But at the end of her turn, tragedy. Uh, the living trap is going to use two legendary actions to entangle all creatures within 15 feet. Oh, fuck. Are going to need to make me a dexterity saving throw. Uh, so it's everybody but Grimka. Grimka, I do need a Georgie save. Georgie save. That's. Oh no. Oh, where's my dice? Oh, where's Helena? Okay. Ooh, Helena with the 17. Okay. Uh, Velthek, even with advantage, you will fail and be grappled. Rylus, you will succeed and not be grappled. Georgie, you will be grappled. The hooks find purchase this time. Solani, you are likewise grappled. Uh, and Helena is going to dodge, hide, getting behind her shield. Uh, you guys are all hooked by these long, it looks like either fishing line or cheese wire, uh, with, uh, hooked barbs on the ends that hook into your flesh and armor, uh, and make it impossible to move in any direction. Uh, Velthek, we're at the top of the turn order. The living traps are here to get your body. I get Uh... We'll do what was done before and sacred flame once more. Since we Hell yeah. Move. Hell yeah. Dexterity save. They're getting bigger every time. It's good time here. Uh, uh, that is an 18, thankfully. You son of a bitch. Ha ha. Damn. Damn. Alright, cool. That's my turn. Alright, we'll go to Rylus. Who. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we go to Rylus, let's do a reel as another legendary action. Uh, mm -hmm. All creatures are pulled 10 feet closer. Ugh. You know I want to be away from them, though. Uh, right, so now it is your turn. Apologies. Uh, no worries. If you want to slam, you got to jam. Welcome to the jam. Uh, am I flanking with... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Flanking. Everyone. <laughs> 18 hits. With the whole party. Yeah. 18 hits. 15, 15 is not. Okay. And then offhand <laughs> is a crit. Ooh. Oh! Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! Hey! Oh! Uh, so 21, 24, or 10, uh, 20, uh, 21 and 21. 42, 42. total. All right, very nice, very big damages. This thing is severely hurt. And I realized I'm a dum dum. I didn't need to use my once per to reroll that. I have fanatical focus. I could have used to reroll a saving throw. Shite. You can that'll save you on your other saving throw that you need. Is that you? Yes. All right, Grimka, be the shite in Nining Armor. Be the shite. Nining armor. <laughs> the shining shite. You can do it, be the shite. Um. Oh, since I crit, all attack rolls against it have advantage until the start of my next turn. If you'd like to make an attack roll. Uh, <laughs> me making an attack roll. I don't know, I didn't know if you had like, the firebolt cantrip or something. Oh, I do, I do. I'm she gonna... Gotten... I'm gonna just go for firebolt, I guess, yeah. I cast Bliggy. I cast Gun. Bligamus Maximus. Bligus. Oh. 17 will just hit. <laughs> hey. Call fire. And hold on, let me check something really fast. This thing looks like it's gonna crumble. If you guys keep it up. Oh, here. I will uh, do this and get an extra, an extra, like, what, four damage or something like that? 
Okay. Hey, that much is damage. Proficiency uh, bonus, an extra five damage. All right, five more damage. And then that's uh, I'll you shoot it, but because you're from a low angle, it goes in its eye. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot it in the butthole. Georgie to hit. Yeah. There you go. I have a butthole. It's a wall. Uh, disadvantage. It's not, or? it's not a. It's not a wall. It's it's the creature that inhabits and transforms via polymorph into ruined terrain and traps and stuff like that. I understand, but it looks like a wall. It does. So are these at normal for Georgie or disadvantage? These are at normal for Georgie. Okay. Grapple doesn't impose disadvantage. No, all attack rolls are at. Uh, oh, at advantage. advantage, yeah. So roll oh, again at normal okay. for that so first bite. 23. 23. 23. 25. No, the 25 is going to miss. Sorry. <laughs> Eight. I did thread that needle. Five. Very nice. 1924. Georgie! This does not look like you could take that any more, much more. Solani, you have a chance to finish it. Yeah. Um. Let's see how it likes cantrips. I'm going to attack, and as part of the cantrip, I attack and cast Booming Blade. So that's 25. The rapier does nada, but the Booming Blade does, if I can click the right button for once, uh, 13 initial damage and 15 if he decides to move. Uh, with a crackle of thunder damage as you hit this thing, what does that look like? Uh, literally, just, I, I noticed before how it kind of went around my, my sword. Do it, and then once my sword's like in the middle of the creature, I call down the booming energy and blow it out from the inside out. That's how I do that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Hello? I went dead for a moment. Did, did okay, they freeze okay. again? We yeah. already died. Every time that happens, I look at that I is... look at Dan's camera to see if he's frozen. <laughs> Same, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, is he moving? Is the Dan moving? <laughs> that time it was hard. There's to something in the internet Hello? today. Hello? Uh, yeah, you. Hello? Yeah, you're broke. Hello? You, you Hello? crashed again. You're, we, you have returned. Hold on. You're here. Hello? There's something in. What have I got? A nice server refresh. Yeah. Maybe. Hi! What happens when you have Hello. the Australians in here first? This fucking shiters out of here. Uh oh. Y'all saw that one too, right? What? what? No, what, what What? happened? Oh no. Maybe I'm getting infected. What the goblinitis <laughs> mean? Uh, what happened? Uh, He's suffering right. goblinitis. <laughs> there was like a little bit of. There was a little jump there. Oh, oh let me turn off. Like, let me let me turn off my camera, maybe. Oh yeah. Maybe we're all working overtime. Job shape. <laughs> oh, um, anyway, you, you, guys, you guys have successfully solved my uh, living trap puzzle. Mm. Congratulations. Oh, it's a thank you. I wipe some. Can we sleep now? <laughs> yeah. Let's get oh, yeah, on the fucking land. boat and go. Back home. Let's go to Artis' place and get some fucking rest as we've covered God, three quarters please. of this place. I need it. I need it so bad, please. Everyone get in the fucking boat. Get in the boat. You. I am down bad. The... Like, you don't understand. She's so hungry for that bed. Everyone get in the fucking boat. <laughs> I need to sleep. She's fucking feral for sleep, bro. It's like 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I have been up for it's years. two first level spell slots. It's been a very and we've been busy level 14 day. for three sessions. Yeah, yep. I've been holding. If we're not going to sleep, we're at least done adventuring for the day. We're going to take an early 
break day to go chill and read I'll a book. A, a long break. We'll come back out at night. Fuck it. We are. Cool. Or we'll just, you know, take an extended rest because we completed three quarters of the goddamn city in one day. <laughs> You gotta get on the boat, we're leaving. Yeah, we. I fucking. Yes, the boat. Slide your ass over here. <laughs> I'm coming, uh, I'm coming. I was that, looking at some. Uh, that's the last time we help some asshole here that we don't know. Because. <laughs> that's the whole reason we were in that little predicament. <laughs> I, I blacked out. What happened? Oh, we, uh, I, we heard someone crying for help. Um. Right, this one's go investigate. Turned out to be a mimic of some kind. Mm. I went oh, over I mean, to say to a flaming fist soldier to ask them if they wanted me to put them out of their misery because, like, their entrails were hanging out of them. And when I did that, that fucking thing attacked me. I should have just smashed its head and walked off. Oh, no, it was dangerous that we saved that Velo fellow, and he seemed different, but harmless. Well, we did recognize him. I mean, you recognized him. I didn't. Yes. Alright, let's fucking go. Leave. Go to a house. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, get, give a, give a, uh, give me a direction. You guys were south. Off and... Not south is the, the Coliseum. South. You, you know what I mean. South towards Aris's house. Draw me, draw me a. Draw me a. Who the fuck are those guys? Oh, no. Let's so as you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who the fuck are they? So, are they as... You guys are talking uh, in your boat about where you would like to go and saying how fucking shit. You, I mean, it seems that you, your two groups. Um. There have not been any sudden movements from that other group either at this point, as you guys are simply just like just putting your paddles into the water. You're taking a moment to grab your breath after that second fight. Uh, you can see a smattering of different uh, types of figures. The uh, mo though most of them carry weapons, uh, the varieties of armor gives you pause, it makes you think that they might not all be warriors. A lot of them are wearing just like leather simple uh armor though a few do have uh splint or uh uh a chain and shields uh from what you can see yeah i mean do they look like they're about to charge us or are they watching us warily they are walking at a sort of normal pace uh while watching you guys they're like okay. passing around the this way sort of at the moment all right let, let them be we'll deal with it in other times go this way okay. we didn't see them they didn't see us it's fine we leave in peace. what was the highest passive perception as you guys uh i have that? 16. uh you 16. would see that one of the figures appears to be a priest of entropy. Oh, mm -mm, one of those. Oh, they're those fuckers. I thought they were the alligator fuckers. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Hold on, give me one second. Eh. 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 Don't make eye contact. Just go. Uh, alright. As you oh, guys... Not, like... Can, can we look and see if they're like going towards the obelisk or whatever? They uh, appear to be headed directly the for the obelisk. Uh, 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 I don't like that. 
fucking this monster. We have to come back here and turn that shit back on. Yeah, I mean, let's be frank. I don't think do the. I think we're tapped out at the moment. I don't think we can do anything about it right now. Nope, we can't do shit. Yeah, we're out. You could try. No, hell no. <laughs> we are out. Okay. We just go. I think we gotta just go. Yeah, I'm okay. pretty like tapped say, out. There's times to fight and there's times to go the fuck home. Yeah, if they're chill, I'm chill. I'm just gonna leave them alone. <laughs> yeah, but they're gonna they're gonna undo all the work we just did. I well, know he... it. I just know it. We're going to come I back to Zombie know. Island. I hate this place. If that's the case, then we probably need to check the others again anyway. Uh, I'm tired that's not, of this that doesn't make it better. I know. That's not good. It's so fun. Do, do we want to go to the other place that we haven't been? Not at not, all. No, the place we, that we these guys the... are supposed to be from? Yeah, no, we don't have the resources to deal with that right now. Oh. I don't think. Also, who's this dead guy? Uh, as you guys who's are coming guy right by, here? you see that there is a, a pyre, or perhaps a bonfire, that appears to have the remains of a human being uh, changed to it. Maybe when we were coming head. up here, weren't they lighting somebody on fire? I want to say that was a thing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, so okay, so that's not new to us. I mean, that was the aftermath. No, you can see that the Witchwood Pyre is still burning uh, strong. There are some uh, debris and detritus from the ceremony that you saw going on when you came here the first time. It seems that while you guys were clearing out with the bells, they finished their ritual and started heading to uh, these obelisks. Um, could I? try to roll well, kind of to kind of recall what I know about this anti-magic cult and try to take a guess at what this ritual might have been about based on just like looking at the setup uh yeah, I mean... sure yeah sure okay. give me an arcana or a history that's a 21 uh with the 21 this is probably a ritual to give offering to entropy uh, mm. by killing probably a, a spellcaster of some kind uh, in a ritual and horrific way. So it doesn't... It seems more like an offering or cultural ritual thing, less of a get superpowers real quick thing. doesn't seem like they uh, became god just now, no. Well, that's good. You would not immediately... All right. Okay. Let's go. We out. Alrighty, you guys uh, head back down south. South. See where the fuck y'all are on this map before I. Right? Going to Florida. To Let's go. Isubachi. All right, you guys, uh, paddle your boat south back down to the residential quarter mm -hmm. boop it a bop it a beep it a all right do we remember which one of these is artist's house yeah. this one right here cool are we portaging the boat into the house or leaving it you did not last time well i'm just thinking with those shitheads out on patrol might want to at least try and like hide it or hide something it. yeah we probably should hide it is there just like underbrush or tree leaf, like these large tree leaves we can hide them under uh you could try somebody give me a survival to disguise your stuff uh may solani and i work together to get advantage yeah i will i will assist regardless okay 
Very nice. <laughs> Boom, hidden. Alright, I'm be right back. I'm just gonna refill water. Okay. I'm still okay. on headphones. The boats are hidden. Let's fucking go inside. Mm -hmm. Unless we're about to be ambushed by some friends. I don't see anything. I, I Surely that Georgie. means everything's fine. I walk up and whisper to Georgie, if somebody strange comes by, kill them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> some random person. Oh, I think you murder them. them. Well, to be fair, how, how many random civilians are wandering around this city? True. There are some explorers that you know of. But yeah, we good. wouldn't want some random yeah, adventure to but... get killed. Um, yeah, as you're saying that, you guys are confronted by something uh, nailed to the front door of Artis' home. Uh-oh. Mm. A, a piece of paper with a... A piece of paper with a black spot on it. A human hand. Oh, fuck. Oh. Is it his hand? That's worse. As you have that thought, you look closer, and you can see it is Artis's hand. Son of a oh bitch! My God. Minus the Dude. Ring of Winter. Uh, oh no! Did he uh, die, man? Well, whether he died or not, they now have a super powerful, potentially sentient artifact. Yeah, that's true. I mean, and also Artis, I know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm being glib. All right. Oh, um, no. oh fuck. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, this it's not great. Bad. I'm not scratching his ass for him. All right. Well, we take a nap, and I'm playing. <laughs> no, how can we take a nap after the uh, uh, I know, but we probably can't win a fight right now. I'm not saying we can, but. They, if they the have the, the ring, if they have uh, that the ring. The figure on the pyre appeared to have both of their hands. <laughs> they were, again, chained by the wrist. Harder to do if you don't have hands. Is it, how did you recognize it was his hand specifically? <laughs> That's you can see the large, uh, uh, <laughs> the ring yeah. tan yeah, the that ring he tan. has. Uh -huh. The fucking okay, so the, billion the year ring tan. There. Yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's his hand. It appears... I mean, it maybe not completely cleanly cut off, but just above the wrist. Oh my god. How, how would they know to nail it to this? Like, how'd they know where he lived? Who the fuck didn't I mean, they man? probably kn knew more than they let on. And now uh, he's got himself yeah. caught. Now this guy I mean, do we want to stay here, or do we want to go somewhere else? I mean, where else is safe at this point? Well, I mean, place this really place is not safe. safe. There's a hand nailed to the door. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of more other death throughout the city. The only other option I can think of is we can go play nice with the Firefox, but I don't think they're gonna want to be nice. I'm gonna go take Artis's hand and put it in a bag. With ice. <laughs> yeah, like wrap it in some cloth, put it in the bag of holding so that it doesn't rot. <laughs> oh, yeah! This fucking hand. Do you have a piece That's of why. Sally? Well, you could, like, totally get a plus 10 to the roll. Remember when I asked if it was okay for him to go off of that when he was like, oh, I'm fine, this is my city. Well, fuck. I knew it. I knew his dumb ass was gonna get caught. I felt it in my soul. I still let him go. And you can't make a mansion, can you? No, I used up that spell slot. Let's get inside. Uh... Maybe maybe there's a map. Maybe he has marked off other safe houses we can okay. try to follow. I by. actually tell Georgie, if anybody that that's like a priest of entropy or whatever shows up here fucking murder them <laughs> do something bark, bark. Well, or, or warn us i don't know, yeah, if no, true. I, know I would say like i'm gonna come alone Tell i would say be really loud if anybody. anyone if anyone shows up just be really loud so that we will be come 
Yeah, Park it's Park. not like he's going to come along with a plat plate of cookies. Welcome to the neighborhood. True. But let's go inside for now, and then we'll figure out our next steps. God damn it. <laughs> God, we did all this work, and you can get... And you get caught, you fuck. Does it look like does it look like they got him while he was in the house, or is this like he never even set foot in this bitch? I will say, without the key to get in, it this door seems like it may be diff it may have been difficult to unlock. You guys were given one of two keys. He mentioned that he has had a spare key since he has started since he has lived here alone. <laughs> he hasn't okay. ever given to people. All right, make sure to lock the front fucking door. Yeah, lock yeah. that shit up. Not Dude, does he have windows? Uh, they're all already drawn, and some of them are partially boarded. Okay, I was gonna say, we haven't unlocked all the windows, too. He has some somewhat elegant curtains hung up instead of some sunlight. blackout curtains. Yeah. yeah. Um, not to be rude to our host, but it might be in our best interest to scour, see if we can find anything useful. Again, maybe he has notes on the city about any where else it might be safe to go. Mm. Toss Artis's place, I'm in. Respectfully, Toss's place. <laughs> okay, we don't really have to toss anything to find stuff. So we no, we don't. I, I'm just see if there's any maps or notes that he has that might help us. Yeah, that yeah, you know, like. Like, come on, let's let's be let's be honest here. The guy's an asshole, but we should still save. Well, him and also the insanely powerful sentient artifact he has that is now in the hands of anti-magic priests. Do we know oh. it's sentient? Uh, Solani does. She senses sentience on it. Oh, okay, I right? didn't know that. N yeah, that was a thing I that happened I... a long time ago because you were it doing a bunch of different stuff. Ago. Yeah, that was like what the first or second session we had with our new characters. Maybe. I think it was when you met Artis for the first time. Yeah. All right, so like fourth or fifth then. Hmm. Yeah, I might have missed that session. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's an insanely powerful, if not Cthulhu-esque, dark artifact that is draining the man's soul. Well, how fun. Um, draining soul, seems. Who has the key? Did we establish who has the key to his house? Who's the most trustworthy? Belthek, right? Me. Yeah, probably Belthek. Um, <laughs> Belthek's the one who has history with him. I'm yeah, sure he Belthek definitely would be the key. Yeah. Um, Bel Belthek, if you're willing, you might help us if we can go through his office. Or his room. I don't know if that's his both. What about the key? It does not work. The keyhole here is much smaller. Uh, well, can anybody besides me use thieves' tools? No. Grandpa, can you? Oh, I realized I have the skill, but I don't actually have thieves' tools. So I can probably make you a set of thieves' tools, right? Over the course of an hour. Yeah, I know that's a base artificer thing. I don't know if it's in your fancy artificer thing. I don't know if they really come. Do you have right right tool for the job? Oh, I fucking don't. God damn it. That's so what I'm saying, that the, the base artificer has it, not, I don't know if the homebrew one did. I have, I have this thing, I don't have that. Yeah, I, well, I think we remember us having this discussion before. Mm -hmm. I hold up my hammer, and with two hands, <laughs> beat down the door. If you look at your cheat, you do have thieves tools and tinkers tools in your equipment. And yeah. proficiency with both. With, yeah, it's and actually And expertise yeah. with both. Yeah, and I can actually, right, so I can I actually do that. <laughs> I hold out a finger to Violet. Like, oh, Gringa, do you, can you help with the door that doesn't involve smashing? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we could just surprise. actually, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> uh, and here we go. We we attempt. Can I help in any way with this? Since I have the uh, thieves' tool proficiency. No. Okay. I'm gonna back up. 
Put this in the middle of the room. That was on that. Was just an advantage of accident. Uh, Solani, friend, oh, can you look for... Kirby, you set your tools to it, and this lock is crazy. Uh, <laughs> it's not like anything that you've seen before. Mm. It's like brass, and it seems to tick. Almost clockwork-like. You have you cannot make heads or tails of it with a fourteen. Well, <laughs> and I and I don't get to try again, right? Because that's no, like, that represents your best yeah. effort unless you can do something to change the way that you're attempting. I could to technically try and pick the lock. have. Yeah, that sucks. Stuff. <laughs> I turn and I'm like, well, you to use your once per session. Yeah. Oh. Or God. can she technically give her tools to Grekthar and let him try? Who's Grekthar? Uh, Sorry, Riley. Riley? My apologies. You, he could absolutely try. Fucking dead. Uh, I'll I'll <laughs> want to re-roll just to see if I can. I'm sorry. Roll worse. Oh, hey, much better. Oh man. Okay. Well, with the twenty-eight, <laughs> uh, you will successfully unlock uh this mechanis lock that Artis oh. has installed. Oh my god. Awesome. I'm her. Uh, you set your, you go, oh yeah, no, I have some, you blow all the dust off of them, set them to the thing, and click, click, pop. Uh, it does take some time to, like, successfully get all of the pins into place, as this is a clockwork lock. Uh, yeah. you open to the simple bedroom. Yeah, uh, she, like, pushes the door open, and, like, a motion, it's like, hey, come on in. Uh, okay, you're truly an artist at work as I pat her shoulder and walk in. <laughs> the walls of this room are covered with charcoal sketches and uh, oil paintings and simple uh, 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 pencil line arts that all seem to feature the same woman. Repeated okay. over and over and over again. All right, let's let's be respectful, everyone. Um, is is this his desk or is that his desk? Uh, this is actually like a slightly slanted, uh, uh, like drawing desk, not unlike an easel. It does have a set of drawers underneath it, but it is uh, of a height where you could stand at it and use it, not unlike a drafting table. Uh, this also here is just a dresser. A dresser. Okay, I'm going to check this first then. Um, I'm not going to try to find his personal stuff, but I'm looking to see if there's any notes or maps of the area that could help us. Sure, give me an investigation for, an investigation? to look for those yeah. things, yes. Plenty for uh, In those drawers, you do not find anything like that. You find some curious bits and bobs, some different artistic... Uh, 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 mediums, uh, mostly dried paints, old dusty charcoals, pencils, uh, dried up inkwells, that sort of thing. Seems he hasn't done art in some time. Or someone hasn't done art in some time. Right. Um, this is unfortunate. Loose floorboards or what do you mean by hidden things? Like secret walls? Secret doors? Uh, yeah, like cubbies that are designed to hide something, or a lot of time, or in an old house, somebody will have like a loose floorboard that they can, you know, pull up and store something underneath. Okay, give me an investigation. Oh, someone assist. Well, Ani is busy. I don't think this I. Moment. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I can. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go back and keep watch at the door. <laughs> Riley, start, Riley just goes around the room taking the pictures off of the walls and looking at the wall and then putting the pictures back. Alright. Um, may I try to investigate something else or was that my one investigation? That was you was just like... looking at that yeah. thing. You guys are all describing to me okay. what you're doing. I will ask what Grimka and Belletech are doing before I give you a chance to do another thing. Okay. Uh, Unless I'm nothing. Assessing. It sounds weird. But does this woman look okay. real? Like. 
is this from artistry or? Oh, it's a consistent figure, certainly. Are you trying to ask if artists are drawing anime? It could be a curse. He. Wait, what? It's a curse. Leap. It's a leap. It's a leap. Oh, you think he's been like a curse drove him to do this? Maybe. I've seen. Like, I was assuming this was. I'm assuming this was his wife, who he desperately misses. I would think the same, but at the same time, I'm not going to mark out everything. It would be wise to consider it. Well, if anything was cursed, it'd be that ring on his finger, which is now very much not in the hands of someone we want them to be in the hands of, so I think they should be our first priority. I'm going to take one of these portraits, the smallest one possible, if I can find it. Okay, there, was a, there would be a very small, no bigger than, like, a very, like, like a, a wallet photo size. Uh, it's not even a frame, it's just tacked to the wall near the bedside. Is there a name on any of this? Uh, give me a perception. Most of them do not have names. Uh, within 19, you do see that, uh, one of them, uh, uh, says, uh, a pair of them, one of them says, uh, Alessandra, the other says A.R. Artist ever say his wife's name? Never once. <clears throat> we should put it in the same um. minister like me. That's the one. Anything that could help us find him. If you can find a mirror, but I think that could be a civil mirror or so, but I might be able to scry with me. I mean, we're in this home, I'm sure we could find an item of his that uh, scrying to help us, um, you know, as she points to her hand. No, Dick, can't I mean... you use the scepter as the focus for scrying? Or do you still need the item? I need, like, the fashion belt. You told me I can't use the scepter, and the scepter doesn't do scrying. Oh, right. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to have a thousand gold mirror in this place. A I think that might have been something that you asked him for. I don't remember. I'm going to say I don't think he would have that here. At least not from what you've seen. There, He doesn't have, like, a treasure hoard. Sitting around. This is behind a secret panel in the walls. Um, yeah, I was going to say, if I can, can I try to investigate the room to see if there's any, like, hidden panels or any, like, loose floorboards that might be hiding anything? Uh, sure. I'll Investigation. Oh. Oh, oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that shit. Isolani, you yeah. notice 
this wall here seems odd. Oh, uh, which wall? Oh, sorry, my uh, ruler is not visible. Oh, good. Uh, ha ha! All right. Um, I'll. Is this is this a sconce here, or is it a candle? Uh, yeah, there'd be a candle. The uh, uh, or uh, because a, a torch would be too big of a flame. Sconce? Yeah. I will try to see if that moves. It does. I pull it. Let's see. Oh! The wall ladder. slides apart to reveal a rough stone uh, tunnel leading down. There is a rickety wooden ladder set up. Uh, it descends into darkness. Though you can hear the sound of water. Uh... How far... Uh, I'll look down. How far down does it seem to go, as far as I can tell, with my dark vision? Uh, you can see that the ladder goes down 20 feet until it hits a stone floor down there. Alright, well, something to explore. I will gingerly get on the ladder and climb down. Do we all want to go, or... <laughs> I scream through the house. Helena! Yeah! There's a hole! That's a goal! It's, it's, it's your butt! No, it's We talked ground. about this! You got ground. it! There's a bed right there. She, oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Where are you going? All right, uh, you guys uh, make your way down the ladder. There is a narrow, somewhat claustrophobic space. It's uh, not even six feet tall down there, and the walls are close and press on your shoulders. Uh, There's only room for you guys to be single file as you move forward, and it is hard to turn around once you get to the bottom of the ladder. Uh, as you make your way forward, the sound of running water can be heard, and the walls of the stone tunnel, you realize, begin to slope gently downwards. As you continue first, uh, sorry, continue forward, the walls get uh, slightly slick with dewy water. Uh, as you head further and further, you reach a... Uh, somewhat larger section that appears more natural than the uh, painstakingly hand-carved out nature of the tunnel up to this point. It's been probably 10 minutes of walking. Uh, you can see that there is some sort of underground river here that once probably filled this whole chamber, but the, the um, uh, uh, force of the water has since subsided, leaving you room to walk uh, in ankle-deep water with your heads uh, bowed over. Uh, and this tunnel continues to uh, 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 lead into the darkness, twisting and turning every uh, 10 to 30 feet, uh, making it impossible to see where you are headed or even keep your cardinal direction bearings about you. Uh, you're fairly deep underground, you would assume, at this point. Mm -hmm. Does it feel like it's gradually getting deeper and deeper, or is it eventually like gets 20 feet down and then we start heading in a direction? It was getting deeper the whole time until you've reached this point. Now you can see that the water uh, uh, heads forward at mostly level ground. Though you're, you're, it's it's almost impossible to tell how far underground you are at this point. I mean, it seems like this was possibly an escape route of this. That seems very likely. And it keeps going. Like, does it? We haven't reached the end. It's still no. It's still you've going. reached. You've reached a point where you're now. There's now enough space because you've reached a natural cavern that it. That you can like turn around and uh, 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 adjust yourself so that the 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 ceiling hasn't gotten any taller. Alright, um, do we want to keep 
going or take it at face value of it being an escape route. That is good to know. That being said, it could be dangerous if we need to use it and not know where it ends or exits out to. Elena is just kind of awkwardly standing there holding spare flaming as the only source of light that she has. <laughs> just kind of looking around her head is cricked at an awkward angle. Um, could I just... I think it might be worth it to start marking the wall if we can, just in case this does get larger and we need to find our way back. You guys are just going to keep going forward? Yeah. I mean, if we do have to use it, it might make sense to figure out where it ends out before we trust our lives to it. Okay. Um, do we have any means of marking the wall? I mean, uh, you could score I'm, it with I'm any piece of metal that you have. Oh, sorry. Right, I, I was more to the group of, like, does anyone have anything that could mark the wall? But I guess, yeah, if we, we could just take any dagger and just mark the wall with a scratch on the wall. What was that? That's pretty much what I had for this, is just the dagger. All right, uh, yeah, so I'll take out her dagger, mark an X on the wall, and keep cautiously going down, going through, whichever direction it's going. Uh, okay. You guys continue walking. Uh, your original 20 minute journey stretches to half an hour, 40 minutes, an hour. Your feet are soaked. Uh, the cold rushing water is uh, creeping higher and higher up your clothing as you slog forward with each step. Grimka, mm -hmm. you're loving it. You, you, you're so short. Uh, everyone else is suffering and you're like totally fine. It's great. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just chilling. Even Everyone like else the, this, bad time. Mm -hmm. This it's, just doesn't make sense. It, if this was an escape route, I feel like it should have exited out somewhere at this point, no? I think so. An hour turns into an hour and a half. Uh, Two hours. <clears throat> you realize you could be uh, heading fully outside of the city. I mean... Uh, yeah, do we still want to keep... I know we've been some two hours into this, but... I mean, if you want to go in it. Well, I, 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 for, I assume this was just a simple exit out to the city, but <laughs> after two hours down here? I mean, we do have to pass by a significant amount of water. Yeah, you said the water is gradually getting higher, right? Like, what, no. what's it? No, 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 no. Oh, it's not. Okay. It's not like filling up or anything, no. All right. This is this was a situation where you were walking through a human carved tunnel that you found that connected to Artis's house, and that human carved tunnel broke out into a slightly larger, I would say, 
maybe uh, eight by five and a half foot sort of stone natural underground river and you're wading through that uh, but it, like I said it's mostly level and the water doesn't seem to be rising nor does it have like a, in an incredibly intense uh, 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 riptide or current you guys maybe stop at two hours take a little bit of a break you uh, it for salon to suggest maybe that it might be worth going back what's the general consensus yeah no I, I agree but this is it's very bizarre why have a hidden tunnel in your home that unless like where was, where does this go? <laughs> we can we can put it in more hours if you want to keep walking. I don't no. Does the end I'm might be sure right in the next thing. corner? Says Helena. Yeah. No, don't. We could be right there. Let's go gambling. Ninety percent of gamblers give up right before they get a big score. <laughs> but what was the point of this? Why did he do this? Is what I'm wondering. There has to be a reason. Escape rope. To and where? Maybe. Where are we going? <laughs> where are we escaping? I don't know. To? We're going it's been two hours. It's been don't two hours. Look, 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 look. We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go through this at some point, right? Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean we have to go to some point? We could be. It could be a wild goose chase. Our goal is in the city. We don't know where the fuck we are. <laughs> well, I mean, we're already walking it. I don't know. This, I just realized we need to go back because we need a long rest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> no, let's go back. By the time we get back, it'll be like seven at night. Sleeping in this fucking cave. Yeah, no, I'm not sleeping in this fucking cave. Let's, <laughs> let's, go. let's chalk it up to a loss. We had to kill some time before we actually got sleepy anyway. I think we've, we've done that at this point. This is crazy. Helena goes, God damn it. Well, okay, Helena, why don't you go on ahead? Tell us what's down there. I'm not going by myself. <laughs> it's not fun that way. <laughs> We'll turn around since she's at the back this... and start heading. <laughs> back. Back. This feels like such a waste, though. It's a little bit uh, slower going uh, against the current. Not much, but just a little bit more tiring heading back. And it does feel like going uphill. Going back home always does. Uh, Was there like a boat we missed back at the cave that would have made this easier? <laughs> We're in an underwater river! Maybe he had a boat there! Uh, I will say, when you reach uh, back to that uh, point at about uh, an hour and 45 minutes of walking back, oh uh, you are free to investigate the area. Just try and find any boats. I mean, it's just more cave with a small, I mean, like... We'll look for in the a wall boat. that has just for shit water shit. shooting out of it. Well, no, uh, I, I assume it was a small cavern. I assume. No, no, I didn't we're think going to it... look for a boat right now. Right. Okay, okay. It's an underwater. I'm not saying it's a giant <laughs> cruise liner boat. I'm, I'm saying maybe it's like a one person it. boat that to go on top of the river down in, since it was seemingly going downwards. Did I find a boat with a 26? Then I can uh, beat Veltic over the head with. With a 26, you do not find a boat in this space. No. <laughs> you do, however, remember a small boat-shaped paperweight that seemed uh -huh. when you were going through his easel. Okay. All right. So he does have a boat. It's just a magic boat that's made of paper that turns into a boat. Because it's an underwater river, Malton. 
especially didn't do detect magic within the house, the house of it. I was going to, but then I found the hole in the wall. Mmm, tunnel vision. <laughs> that was literally my my third the third thing I was gonna do if I didn't if I didn't find anything on the second investigation. Well, he's about to lead Velveg on an underground river tour. <laughs> I was gonna say we were gonna get our part is gonna that we're gonna get trapped in an underground cavern ravine and fucking go Drowned. to where we possibly go. That would be a real, you guys, <laughs> you guys go down and I just say, oh yeah, it fills up with water, it's high tide, you drown. No. You're out of spells, it's none of you can dimension door, you all drown. The, some of the few videos that make me literally uncomfortable are watching people go cave diving. It is oh, the worst. That shit the is absolute so fucking hated. worst. I can't watch those, uh, like, underground flooding movies. It's fucking crazy. Uh -uh. It, uh, anytime I watch someone... Of their free will, go deep into the super thin chaos. I was like, "Why would you do that to yourself?" I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, All I right. guess next time we have to go down there, we'll know to take the magic boat. A bit after four hours uh, down there, <laughs> Helena will reach the ladder and climb out, wet and dripping, into Artis's bedroom. I'm not, I mean, I'm not happy about this either, but what were you going to do? Keep on walking for another two hours? Yes. You only had to keep on walking <laughs> for another ten minutes, probably. <laughs> You're right no there. one else said, let's go. Right you were all... No one else was saying, hey, let's keep going. You all were like, I don't, I don't know. So, fuck. I am could just going forward, but, you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What time does that put it now, since it was two hours it's out like and two hours back? 7.38-ish, right? I would say it's just about to be 7 o'clock. Yeah. Alright, well, I strip so, naked to kind of dry out my stuff. Helena goes, yeah, okay, killed, and is out of the room. Yes, we, we killed four hours. We can now we just reasonably naked. take a nap. I'll make sure to close this again. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I have. I have feeling Russ is going to clean this room. <laughs> Maybe. Sh okay. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I, I, you know I, what? I gather up my stuff, and I guess I go to the library. You can go wherever you like. Okay. It's my dick in a um, book. Dick in a box. <laughs> um, I, I will cast detect magic ritual. Literally cast tech magic just to see if there's any, like I know the boat's there, but to see if there's anything else of value that, that I'm not going to steal might help us save our friend. Uh, you do detect uh several magical items in the room. Hmm. Uh, there are a uh pair of boots. That uh, glow faintly from under the bed. There is an aura from several of the items in the easel, actually. Really? Uh, the blanket appears to have some sort of enchantment. Uh, there are a few. Uh, several of the uh, candles in the room actually appear to be magical. No. I have a feeling some of them were more just like cosmetic, useful magic, not necessarily like adventuring magic. Maybe it was just like magic candles that turn on with the f snap of your fingers. Good. Look at some magic. Uh, it's a. It's you never had one of those electric blankets that warm up. Is probably a, a self warming blanket. What the fuck? It's you nice and cozy. What the fuck? Make those? I mean, I'm talking about in real life. I, yeah, I don't know no, if it's my favorite. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about in real life. I, I just if I lived I in a magical a world with and Mike. I had a magic blanket, I would assume it was a magic blanket that heats itself up and makes itself cozy. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, I I will since we are like just about to get down to downtown. I'll start 
I, I want to cast identify on the things in the easel box first. Those seem most interesting to me. Okay. Uh, you do find uh, the magical boat that can be made into different sizes. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things in there you find is a set of dice, uh, which are Charlton's dice. <laughs> he would. Uh, yeah, he would. <laughs> he would. He really would. Uh, you see that there are a pair of gems. One is an orb of time. The other is an orb of weather. Uh, either I'm of these tell you that. Uh, an orb of time, which tells you whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, or night, and an orb of weather, oh, which tells you okay. the weather, uh, the weather. Uh, in the location that you're in. There are a pair oh. of magical pipes uh, that uh, let you uh, create monsters Wait. out of smoke. I, too, have seen that from the Xanathar's Guide Common Magic Items list. Uh... On its side, underneath the easel, is a tankard of plenty. So uh, you will I notice feel, you with an identify on this tankard of plenty, uh, it has ninety nine charges. Holy shit! Oh my god! An old style. Because identify tells you how many charges a thing has. That, that's too many charges in one day. Mm. Or not I mean, unless you're throwing a party with it, you're going to kill yourself. Alright, yeah, I, I have a feeling most of these are just slice of life, magical items to make things easier, but just out of curiosity, I will also do it on, on the bed. Uh, this is a shift like a, weave a blanket. Uh, so this blanket can uh, swap between basically five varieties of heavy blankets, starting with a sheet and going all the way up to like a heavy woolen comforter. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose it makes sense. Blanket for all occasions, and it never gets dirty. Oh, that that very much makes sense. That goddamn. All right. No, he has been here a long time. Goddamn. Right. I want to make I, uh, I want to make such a stupid dirty joke, but I'm gonna I, mean, I would have to kill myself. It's the flat chamber. Damn. Oh no. No. Uh, anything else that you guys would like to look at? Mm -hmm. The candles? Or I, mean, the I guess... On, clap off, kinda. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess, sure, I'll, I'll look at the candles. Uh, smokeless, ever-burning ever candles. Once you light them, they will burn right. without uh, smoke until they are extinguished. Alright, and lastly, the boots. Uh, these are boots of false tracks. <laughs> What the fuck? Well, I guess if you need, yeah, if you need to be sneaky, I suppose mm -hmm. that's useful, but nothing inherently or stand out useful to us at the moment. Have you been recasting uh, Detect Magic as well as Identify? No, I, I once I knew where all the magic items were, because they're they're both ritual spells, so when I cast identify, the detect magic would have stopped. Well, it's not it. The ritual. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 uh, as I said it, I knew that was wrong there. But um, I probably would have let the concentration run for the ten minutes. Okay. Then what's your passive perception? Is it at least fifteen? It is fifteen. Okay. Uh, you see uh, a dark shape under the bed. Uh, while you're get, pulling the boots out. Oh. It's small. Hand size. Um, I'll, I'll kneel down to get a closer look. Uh, it's, uh, appears to be, uh, 
small hand-sized uh, stone object. Did I notice that before if I detect magic or was the bed covering it? it the or bed would have blocked it if it was magical from the position that you were in and when you were looking around the room. You only saw the boots because they were okay. near the edge of the bed. Okay. Um... It seems like a weird thing just to be under a bed. Oh, I'll, I'll go ahead, cast Identify on it. Uh, this is an item called a Secret Key. Oh. Uh, a Secret Key unlocks a uh, completely invisible secret door uh, that, needs, that needs a DC-30 to detect. Secret key can be activated using an action to press the secret key against the uh, locked secret door. Speak the uh, command word, uh, and it will uh, open the lock, or uh, open the lockless door, I should say. Do I know if attuning to this key would show me where the door is? You do not know. So he has another secret door, presumably somewhere. Want me to attune to it? I don't think I have any of my attunement slots. Used. It's not an attunement item. Oh, it's not. Oh, then no, someone can just pick it up and and just see that it probably doesn't tell us where the door is. Yeah, and you also still need the activation phrase. Which we don't have. Okay. Hmm. What was his uh, wife's name? The woman. The woman's name on the picture was uh, Alessandra R. I hold the thing and say that name. That thing happens. Artist. As far as you're aware. Dickhead. <laughs> Open sesame. <laughs> Slappy. Slappy? What? How about, how, wait, let's try it. I hold my hand and Artist Simba. It is I, Artist Simba. <laughs> no, nothing. All right. <laughs> Simba. I mean, I mean, yeah, we don't we don't have enough information, but uh, I'll keep it under the bed for now, and then if we need to take it with us, I'll know where it is. But I think we'll just have to keep that at the back of our minds for now. Maybe I'll ask Bell to think about it. Or Grimco. Let's yeah. tell other people so it's not so it's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll come into the main room and let the others know what we found, the the secret key. It sounds like there could be just about anything in Oh, I think that's... The problem, it's a hidden door that could be just about anywhere and requires a phrase that could be just about anything. So unless, I don't know if we have enough information to do anything about it is the problem, but could be hiding something else that might prove helpful to us. Or 
the really fucked up thing. There's a secret entrance at the bottom of that goddamn cave. You can take a boat down to, and that's where the door is. Um. Wait, unless any of you have any better ideas, I'm not sure that we have enough information to act upon it at the moment. It's just something that we know exists. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not like we know we're gonna find the whatever phrase it is in here. Um... We tried the the name that was on the painting, then either that didn't work, or it would have worked, and we weren't at the location the door was. Huh. God damn it! <laughs> well, I mean, we have the ladder. But I don't, I don't think that that connects to this. Presumably, if the the door was magical, I'd be able to sense it with the tech magic, right? You still magical? So I mean, I only checked in that room. I could cast the tech I mean, magic. Maybe the and... door. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe it's in a different area. Yeah. So, um, Nate, I would like to detect cast magic again, but this time for the 10 minutes, kind of just scour around the house and make sure I get eyes on every, like, wall, nook, and cranny to see if that reveals anything. Okay, give me a perception just to see how thorough you are. Okay. Uh, Got it. Um, uh, fuck you move you know, through the fuck house. It. I'll I'll use my once per session on this because okay. if I do find it, that'd be super cool. Uh, okay. Stellani, nice you go through the whole house. You can't. You're for life, you can't figure out where yeah. this secret, stupid wall is. And then you, mm. like, oh, I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. I have to pee. <laughs> and you walk into the bathroom, and you realize you didn't check the bathroom. As you see. Oh my god. A bathroom wall here <laughs> glows <laughs> with a, the aura of illusion magic. Why was it in the bathroom? <laughs> what? Where does it? Oh, okay. I mean, it's pretty smart. Right. Who would think to check the bathroom? I, yeah, alright. Um, I'll go get the secret key again. You're having a pinch. Okay. You're having a giggle. Go get go back to his room, go to the bed, get the key, go back. Okay, I'm holding the key. Let's try this again. Alessandra R. Nothing happens. Alessandra. What is similar? Rocket. <laughs> well, fuck. Well, hmm. Try that other lady's name. They knew each other, right? Which other lady? Masika. Masika. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess. I'm just. I'm just throwing stuff against the wall. <laughs> Dragon bait. Mesro. Mesro. Toilet. There's gotta be a second part to that name. I gotta oh, take a true. shit. That, yeah, maybe we, if you have the full name, know what the R yeah. is. Um. Alright, you check his room. I'm gonna check the library, see if that name comes up anywhere. I don't know if he's checking him, but... What? 
What about this room here? Is this like a guest room? Yeah, essentially. Okay. Or There's actually, nothing like left really... in it at all. You don't see anything. Okay. It seemed fairly cleared out. Like art just like made space for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Time to check the yeah. books for names. Yeah. Uh, Nate, can I do a history check to see if her name might appear in any of the history books? Uh, sh sure. <clears throat> 21! Uh, you are going through a uh, book on the history of Mesro, and you see the name Alessandra. Alessandra mm -hmm. Rayburton. Rayburton. How do you spell that? Nate? Hey. Alessandra Rayburton. Hey. Oh, interesting last name. Okay. Mm. Alright. Uh, it let's, is let's a go. very old one. Uh, she was born in the mid 14th century, according to this, oh, uh, which would put her at more than 500 years old if she were still alive today, as Artis believes. Mm. She is referred to as a barre of Mesro in this history. A barre? What's a barre? Uh, barre uh, is. Please. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Grimka sort of like sighs and well she's like you know studied in the like actually studied with it uh, and she's like well think of it kind of like like a ruler there was a there was more than one of them right uh, nine I believe yes. yeah well they, they used to have nine of them there's a one that you actually mentioned, uh, Velthek, mm. uh, Rosna C. He was, he was a Bari, right? Yes. Yeah, and she goes, he was one, and he's the reason why we got all the, why we got all the undead around the city now. Mm. This must be another one of them. Maybe she's not around anymore. Would I know that? Uh, there are, okay, the bar were seven, they were the chosen of Uptau, undying men and women that ruled as priest kings of this, over the city. Um, if you believe Artis, the whole city is somewhere else, and she's some, uh, somewhere there with it, with everybody, but right. Right. he also described you finding his wife's lifeless body. So, when grains of salt. Grains of salt. When do we find his wife's lifeless body? He described himself. Oh, he described himself after okay. the city was destroyed. I I misheard. Okay, mm -hmm. but if she, if this text is accurate and she was a bare, then not only would she have been functionally immortal, she would have other very strong magical powers as well. Hmm. Clonings or some of Akrams or some combination could have allowed her to do such a thing. Well, I, I mean, I suppose that's the whole point of his quest, right? Is to find her again. Well, let's see if we can add to your concerns. Let's see if this works. I go to the magical door. I hold up the secret key. Alessandra Ray Burton. Nothing happens. Fuck. Oh. oh. Abare. Abare of Mesro. Abare. No. What? <laughs> Does touching the uh, the key to the door do anything? Nope. It is required for you to hold it against the was well, hold the secret key against the uh, uh, magical wall. 
and they the phrase yeah. that is all. Were was it were was this the group that found out about his daughter, or was that the other? That was group? the other group. Supposed daughter. Know that. Yeah. Well, well, shit. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. yeah. Shit. <laughs> I don't suppose you'll allow one more investigation check in his room to see if I can find any notes or writings that would lead to a code word or a password you did or not, a word that you did not see a sticky note that said pass laptop okay. password anywhere or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Laptop password. Damn him for having some awareness of internet security. I mean, I think we covered the obvious. Anything else at this point would just be going through a dictionary, right? Well, dictionaries don't have proper nouns. <laughs> Maybe just Rayburn. Just Rayburn. No. Yeah, okay. I don't think it is. Well, I, I, no harm in trying. <laughs> Hmm. Any idea what the name of his ring was? Could that be it? No, like, I sensed the sentience there, but I didn't get, like, friendly with it. That would be a problem. I didn't check its hand. It was just like there was something hungry behind that ring. And dangerous. Mm. Break in case of emergency. <laughs> this guy gets kidnapped and has the most complicated way to find shit ever. I hate him. I mean, you are raiding his stuff. Like, I feel like this is not the intent, anyone's intention. <laughs> We're not trying to rob his house. We're trying to find something that we can use to save him. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, we left the blanket and everything else there. <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't take anything. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, gang. I think this might be a dead end. Hmm? Try one thing, but it's not really guaranteed to work. But what, what might that be? Let's see if I can receive the answer. Uh, well, I mean, he beats to, to a call. around. I mean, if that's something you're willing to do, it's not going to fire back on us in any way. It shouldn't. And it's maybe a question. So, well, I mean, Wow. Oh. Asking... What is the past phrase for this lead to the chamber? It's time for that D100. Alright, uh... High or low? No, it's literally, I have to get my 
clerk. Lower little, than thirteen, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I'm, I make I make yolk. I make yolk. bad yolk, apparently. Yolk. Damn it! That was close. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate. Uh, you implore your deity. There is no response. You are forgotten. Cause I don't those in birds. <laughs> yeah, that was it. That must have been it. Alright, well, I guess it was worth a shot, but I'm not sure what else we can feasibly do with the points. I guess I'll, you know, put that aside to feed, and I'll go put the secret key back. Mm. Yep. Uh, at least we know where it is if anyone gets any ideas, or if we come up with the catchphrase. We magically figure it out. <laughs> what? What was this, like a footlocker? Uh... Yeah. Is it locked? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ooh. Um, there was a locked foot locker in there. I don't know if anyone checked, but I'm not sure that's going to give us the answers either. I think I'm assuming just more personal effects of his. You can check it if you want, but I'm going to. I mean, I just did. Yeah, no, it, it's locked. I don't have the tools to do it if I want to. Alright, well, I tried to put everything back as it was, and if I, I don't have the key, but if I could relock the door, I would try to. If not, then I just would leave it. And I guess we just get ready to do our long rest. Alright. Big city chilling. Alright, we could do, uh, like, watches and stuff and all that. Or, I could just say you get it and you level up! Yeah! yeah. Top 14, yeah. bitches! Yeah! Woo, 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 woo. Oh, boy. Ra, 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 ra. Praise the Jesus. Lord. Jesus. That one of this Jesus for so long. Jesus had nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yes. Okay. Officially now have plane shift and teleport. No, they can teleport. Hmm. No. Can teleport. We could we could leave ours behind and just get the fuck out of here if we wanted to. It's beautiful. We can There's go where no the pie. fuck we want now. Oh, yeah, just roll down. a D one hundred, Salani. Yeah, that'd be fun. See them HP dice. That's why I said it's beautiful. All right, now, now I have perfected design, which helps Georgie out with hitting things. Yay! He's kind of lame. None of my spell slots get higher, but I suppose that's fine.
All right, what the fuck do I want to prepare for tomorrow? Um, can I try to recall my our fight with the the ne the entropy boys? Sure. Um, did necrotic magic work against them? That was so long uh, ago. I don't remember the details. I don't think they were resistant, but let me double check. The Priest of Entropy is not resistant to necrotic damage, no. Okay. I'm trying to remember if he was resistant to something I did, but I, it was so long ago. He was disrupting the arcane. It, just general arcane disruption, right? Mm -hmm. Which I can't really pair against outside of... Keeping your distance. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Well, I guess I could... Uh... Uh... Maybe I can drop haste, because Grimka has haste. I can switch out for something else. Maybe lightning bolt. Alright, uh, uh, do we think we'll have any occasion to teleport for the foreseeable future, or would you guys still prefer I keep Magnificent Mansion prepared? I think the mansion on hand is good. The yeah, mansion right now is pretty good. Alright. Don't roll a one. And you can always cast Not the mansion, and then take the 24 hours to prepare a teleport. That too? Yeah, yeah. For sure, I'm just I'm just thinking about what we think we might need on hand for the foreseeable future. Okay. Well, while you guys finish your level up, I'm gonna go feed my cat, and then we'll get back to it. All right. The boy. Nice. We found so many magical hidden things just to still be at square one. I know, right? <laughs> All this stuff, and we're just like, well, we have all these secrets that we know nothing about. Yeah, it wouldn't be secrets if we knew about them, right? But we found out about them, and they were still secrets. Yeah, oh, well. maybe we do be it like that look. sometimes. Yeah, it is what it is. Sucks though. We're like, well, <laughs> yeah. Well, we I guess if we do need progress. to escape, we didn't make any either. We, if we do need to escape, we know about at least an escape route we can take mm -hmm. with the boat now. I mean, we might want to take that boat just to have it with us. Um, Probably should. Yeah, you know, I guess. In case it's our fair. boat gets stolen. Gets fucked up. You know. I suppose that's fair. Alright, I'm gonna go refill water while Nate's uh, away. Great. Okay.
Well, I got uh, Relentless Rage, so I can try and be too angry to die. This is sounds useful. Okay. Fuck happened here while I was gone? What, Rylus's dick was out? His dick's been out since he took his clothes off. I he think. didn't put them back on. Oh, wow. I, pro I mean, I would assume he probably wouldn't, knowing him. Plane shift says you can use it offensively to banish someone to another plane if you want. That's always nice. Oh, I think I'm all leveled up. You grab plane shift, and what else is your two new and and teleport? Plane, plane shift and teleport. Classic. New spell level, get two new spells of that level. Fuck yeah. Yep. yep. Teleport. Too bet you didn't get into the treasure room and find uh, my uh, complete wizard spell book. <laughs> well, I mean, even That's if I did, I'd need the money and the reagent materials to learn the spells. Oh, what are you going to do? But yeah. So let me pick up plane ship because that's something something she has been staying for a while. So now if she ever needs to, she could theoretically band herself back to the Feywild. Mom, what the fuck? Yeah. Brainwash yeah. my friend. No, honey, it's a I just help she's a... brainwash your friend. It's a decision she's a little bit more conflicted about now, to be sure.
keep on thinking the password's gonna come to me. I'll be like, of course, that's of course that's it. But it's not happening. Welcome. Welcome back. Where you go? Josh is back. I heard Hannah say something. Mike and I yes. have been talking, and I just saw Dan move in, Rylus around. So it seems like everybody's here. Yeah, I'm here. So. All right. A uh, long rest will progress. Rylus and Sloney swap off, sitting by the front door. Uh. And nothing comes in to attack you. You all sleep peacefully throughout the night. And wake up. Level 14. Out to figure out where the fuck Artis is. Yeah. Well. Perhaps. We should check up on at least one of the obelisks we turn to make sure that those assholes were not undoing our work. I'm sure they were. But of course, without the man on the hour, we exactly fucked over him. That's not exactly a point of doing it. No, I, I, I'm just saying if it was on the way, it would hurt to take a quick peek to confirm. But you are right, he is the priority. I don't suppose we have any means of locate person or scrying we can use to pinpoint his location? I wish I could use scrying. Do we have locate person? I, I know it has specific range, but if we have his hand... I imagine wherever they're keeping him, it's not going to be easy to get to. Hey. 
inadvertently sifting through prayer book trying to Well, do we have any other plans then outside of going over there and walking around aimlessly? I mean, you know roughly where they are based from Artis's description yeah. of all of the locations in the city. Mm. If you guys would like, I can go over the major locations again. No, I, the, I, uh, yeah, I know we know roughly where they are. Yeah, the northeastern section, main, main buildings and all. Specifically, they yeah. they are in the College of Wizards. Or the ruins of such. I, I meant more like, do we have a general idea or plan of going through because I highly doubt the area is going to be empty. It seems like they had a considerable force with them. That's what I'm trying to fucking boil in my brain right now. I don't have anything to get a clue of what's going on and I don't have any ways of offer well, there's an unpopular option in that we could try to make allies of either the crocodile fuckers or the fire fist assholes. Mm. As much as I don't like the fist, probably a better choice. If we have to. I'm just saying, we're powerful, but I'm not sure the six, the three, five of us, I don't think the five of us, can take on however many of them are there. We can put the mercenaries against them, at least either thin their numbers out or distract them so we can sneak in. I think a distraction would probably be in order. The Flaming Fist has probably been bothered off by them. I mean, maybe? They didn't from seem like the type who would work well with others. But from what I can understand, the Fist seems more like they're concerned with something else. So they might not be here for their money, per se. We could go have a chat. Of course, we don't exactly have a license either. Not to mention, if we were to have a chat, I'm sure they would use an excuse to extort more money out of us. Which, oh, for what we'd be asking, we probably do not have. On us, anyway. Unless Volo can somehow convince them. I I don't know if he can convince them. I don't know. He seems like the kind of guy who's like a kind of bumbly, but can weirdly pull things off. I don't know how. I can't describe it, but he's got that vibe. He's got like that Jar Jar Binks vibe, you know. <laughs> Uh, charismatic that's, success. That's up to you. Then now, uh, the Jar Jar Riz. I'm not oh, saying wow. it's a it's a hard plan. I I'm just saying he gives off that vibe. Well, I'll follow along with whatever you do want to try out, and you know, I think if that's it's the either problem, fist we... or crocodile cultists, I take the fist. I think that's the problem. We're not even sure if it's a valid plan. 
But the other option is testing our the luck of the five of us against however many people the entropy cult brought with them. Right. And considering most of us use magic... Not gonna go well, yeah. Not, yeah, not... The odds are not stacked in our favor. Suppose that we should go ask the Flaming Fist. Do we have any precautions set up in case they decide to, to go, hey, you are strangers in a strange land, we're going to arrest you. I'm pretty sure they would either way just to steal the ship. The, the, the ship? Our ship. Right. Oh, our ship. I mean, that's what? Yeah, that doesn't seem like a great option either. I mean, I'm not as familiar with the Flaming Fist. I'm not sure if anyone thinks they are reasonable to talk to. I mean, if you've been traveling Faerun, Solani, you would have probably heard of the Flaming Fist. I mean, heard of, but interacting and hearing of are two different things, I imagine. Hmm. I'm not sure how... Often we would, I mean, unless you think it's more common, I don't know how often we would have interacted with them. Mm. And I get the feeling, unless, again, correct me if I'm wrong, I get the feeling the rumors she's heard about them are asshole ish. Yeah, they're, uh, money hungry mercenaries uh, but while they are technically people who follow the law are about as corrupt as they come mm -hmm. and like it, it would be a situation where you'd probably have to do something for them, and at that point, it's hard to say if Artis is still going to be alive. Um, they cut off his hand. His life is definitely in a lot of danger. This is the point that Helena That's... Made. yeah. No, you're right. I, I don't think we have the luxury of coming up with the perfect plan, I'm afraid. So... Head into there and go what they well, expect. For a connoisseur of sleeps, let's go be smart about it and see what we're up against. Let's make All right. Can I take All right. you guys to this map. And where um, I think we did want to. We're not stealing it, but I believe we did want to grab the the magic folding boat from Artis's office yeah, bedroom. Okay. Just as an emergency. In case our in case our own boat falls into trouble. Okay. Um, who wants to? I'll, I'll put it in the bag of holding. Yeah, it's a classic folding boat. Alright, so the College of Wizards was... Was it this building? Uh, yes, this building here. It is connected to the library, which is this building. Oh so, yeah, that's deep in the shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you guys make it out of... Uh, everybody please mark down Bugdap and Ration. Okay, sure. 
Morning ritual. Well, do we want to go check uh, at least the nearby um, beacon? See if we need to turn the obelisk back on. I think Velvet made a good point. If our the main guy we're doing this for is in danger, it's not gonna matter. He's kind of the top priority at the moment. Okay. Where do we think he is? He is probably over here, yeah. where the entropy cultists are are based. One place he All was right. fucking around. Yeah, the one place he was fucking around in and said he'd be fine at, and of course no one would catch him. He's out of December. But lo and behold, he lost his fucking hand and his magic item, and now everything's fucked. Also for Solani and Glinka. Yeah. Thank, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So you guys are going to uh, head out to the city, hop right into your boats, and sail around? Yep. Is is this the only entrance into that corridor, or according to this map? According to this map, yeah. Unless you'd like to try and scale the walls. That's I'm just saying, how much? If that's the only feasible way, how much you want to bet they got eyes? Hmm. A dollar. Wow. We could always make our own. Can we do that all eight times? Really? Stone shape and ladder up. <laughs> Has to be unworked. Doesn't? Doesn't say that. That's the first elemental restrictions. Mm -hmm. Up to two can... hinges and a latch. Uh, okay. Uh, tell me what you guys are doing. Oh, Can we take a look around and see uh, do... what's going on with it first? Like, go around the perimeter, see if there's a sneakier opening. Yes. Well, at least if the map tracker it looks like there's a break in the wall here. That might be climbable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's, what's uh, up with that break in the wall? Sailing around, yeah, I mean, there is a break in the wall. It's about 40 feet above the water level, but that's about half the height of the wall above water level. Yeah. If you wanted to try and uh, climb up to that somehow, you would have to leave probably Georgie and your canoe behind. Rise and yeah. Georgie. Right. Okay. Well, I mean, you don't. You don't, you don't necessarily want to leave Georgie behind, right? It would probably not be good. No. All right. Um. um I guess we could go around, see if there's any other obvious opening, but it doesn't look like it. Where should we look? This is interesting. Okay. Take a little it. You guys are continuing to search around? Mm hmm. Yeah, I guess. Um, I'm assuming these like portholes are aren't massive and traversable. They are not uh, portholes. They are uh, 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 excuse me. Um, Shield things. Oh, um, murder holes. I, my brain is off. I can't find where the thing is that I'm looking for. It's 
So like an aqueduct that thing that raises the water level, raise ships up, or drain it out during a storm, like a drain. Uh. My brain rotten. Yes. Hey, it's it's not a not a priority. We don't have if it's they're just small. We I, don't know, have to, I know. Cause I know, because I remember the. the... Well, I specifically yeah, remember it mentioning what the thing is in the flooded boulevard, but the flooded boulevard doesn't mention anything. If I was to guess, they look like drains in case, like, of heavy rain. Like, it's an aqueduct. Like, maybe. to drain out of the district. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I can't find it. I can't find where the, the note is about this That's about fine. this thing about the city. Uh, mainly uh, my point is they're, no, not, they're like, not passable. Traversable. They're okay. either the drains or some kind of, like, a plaque or space for statues or something. I can't quite mm -hmm. remember or find what it is. Old cool statues oh. of Rasmussen. I don't know what the fuck you uh, just said, but multiple statues it's... of Rasmussen. I remember that coming into the city. Yeah, the that the that that's on the walls here. You can see. Yeah, you can see those statues. statues. They're all over. And so and some of them have empty plinths. These ones here were brought us in the sea. They're defaced and broken down. Uh... I need to... do something. Uh... Okay. These RP amongst yourselves as you are uh, making your way down the flooded boulevard. If anyone would like to roll me a perception check to look for additional hidden ways in, please do so. Sure. Oh. Um, Riles, I think your perception is better. I'll assist you. Okay. That's 23. Better. Um, maybe if there's like a broken hall, when we, all these buildings seem to have doors that face inwards. If there's like a broken wall there, maybe we can go through one of these buildings. Mm -hmm. Seems pretty stout from the room. Well, of course they picked the most fortified quadrants. I'm sure they reinforced it with their own magic. Which is a hilarious situation with the cult of entropy. Well, everyone loves a hypocrite. Magic for me, not for thee, and all that. Mm -hmm. How do you think they go along with that, where it's like, we're going to kill magic, but we're going to use and learn magic to do it? Kind of fucking and I, ass I assume it's like learning the tools of your enemies and using it against them, but in reality, I'm sure it's more like using an excuse to control their masses, but still having the authority and the self-regard to use what they deem it unusable to others. Mm. A little bit like my home. Yeah, well, people in power do seem to love to tell what other people can do and do whatever they want. So if the, these priests are their ruling class. Wouldn't surprise them to put themselves above their own regulations. At least the monarchy labels, it labels itself correctly. Hmm. This is just a monarchy with many more steps.
I'm less worried about their use of magic, and more worried about what they're going to do with with that ring. I told you before, it was it was very dangerous, and now in these hands, I can only imagine it's it's not going to be good. Oh. I can imagine whatever is in that ring could be far, far more heinous. Well. Oh. I don't know if this is the best way of right side or wishful thinking. If our own resident lich pain in the ass shows up, perhaps the use of another magic user will enrage these fellows enough to turn their ire on her. Thinking, but you never know. It would be nice. Right? With a bit of a wind. At the same time, it would be curiosity whether or not she's already human affected them with their own ideas. Well, I mean, if she was here, she didn't know about artists, right? She only knew about you. We haven't seen any ravens in a while. Maybe so, unless we've missed them. Uh, Rylus and Velthek, you both see a raven. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. For real? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm um, doing something, so I didn't get to ver rectify the. No, no, all good, all good. Perception checks. Well, speak, speak of the devil. And that kind of null and voids the situation at hand. Just go in the front door then. We didn't find any other obvious ways through or any broken walls in. I don't we don't have much of a choice. No. Not without spending a shit ton of resources. Leave the king magic dickhead to me, because eating magic doesn't really do much against me. Well, unfortunately, I have a feeling there's going to be more than one magic eater if we're going to be attacking their hive. King magic eating dickhead. Well, I can crush one skull as easily as multiple. Alright, well, it sounds like we're going to the front. Totally won't be any guards there, I'm sure. Okay. 
Uh, you guys make your way out to uh, the uh, exterior. Sorry, let me move you along the map. You make your way out of the city proper and around uh, over the course of a little bit longer than an hour uh, and are making your way back up the central boulevard towards your destination. Uh, as you decide that there is nothing really that you can be expected to do. There's just not uh, a way into this quarter. Possibly on purpose, you realize. Mm. The yeah. long, much of this place yeah. hasn't, suff hasn't uh, ha been repaired. You know Artis maintains his own home. It's not a stretch to imagine uh, someone else does. Front door it is done. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. <laughs> what is everyone's passive perception? Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Fif Fifteen. for me as well. Sorry. No, 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 this no. is taking slightly longer to set up uh, than I expected. Uh, whisper, whisper, whisper. Cool. Tacos. Uh, okay, does anyone have... Uh, does anyone have a passive perception higher... The, the same or higher than a 17. No. No, no mine was the highest at 16. Okay. But I don't know what Helena's is. Uh, Helena's passive perception is a 14. Uh, but thankfully, I still suffer from 14. Okay. So, Velthek will not be surprised as this happens. Uh, you guys are making your way downtown, moving fast, faces past, when <laughs> from under the water, a group of green frog beings jump out at you. Everybody, roll initiative. Oh, it's, they're so cute, though. Watch what comes up. They're cute little guys. That's not... Oh, fuck. We'll probably go with our little suit. They're not in our life. They're not in our life. Get the shockers. Why both? Get the shockers. Stop with Ann Bell. <laughs> <laughs> King Baron. What if you join us and we can promise you riches beyond your imagination? Better send that college over there. Yeah, Don't none of you them. speak Grung, unfortunately. It's true. Well. Maybe they know more languages than I do. I don't know. Who <laughs> they know more? I heard of one enterprising Grodden wizard who was quite formidable. Some may even say he turned into a beach ball in his later life. You know! Say he got a badonkadonk. <laughs> Murdering these gronks could be fun! Ooh. 
I mean, yeah, if we're gonna have to fight them, we'll fight them. I'm just saying, we don't... I will spread their entrails across my base. <laughs> He's possessed. The clown is oh back. Uh, you are all surprised, as except for Velthek, as the Grungs launch uh, an attack from the water. Uh, Sonia, I'm going to put you back in your seat. Because this Grung is going to climb up onto the boat. And uh, attack with advantage uh, against uh, Rylus. Good job, Mr. President. Uh, it's a 16 to stab Rylus. Uh, that would hit because my hammers are not out yet. Okay, that's three piercing and five poison damage. Three piercing and five poison, huh? Mm-hmm. You then see, farther down the lane, a Grung appears to, rather than swim up, uh, stand up, as if it's standing on something just below the surface. Uh, and it raises a short bow, which it will fire at Solani with. What the fuck? Uh, that's an 8, uh, I'm sorry, that's a 21. Uh, a 21... Check. You I don't cast shield you, know, block that. you are surprised. You cannot take reactions. Uh, never mind then. I get hit. Uh, six piercing, five poison, eleven total. Okay. Uh, Rylus, you are surprised unless you'd like to rage. Uh, yeah, I'll rage. Excellent. He's like, yes, burn those rages. <laughs> you won't need them. It's fine. And then as a. Hey. Free action, draw my hammers, and then as my action action, beat the shit out of this little freak in front of me. <laughs> this freaky little guy. Beat his ass. Does a 22 hit, reckless. Uh, one second, yes, uh, ab I mean absolutely, 100%. 100,000 percent. Uh, 18. And then does a crit hit. Uh, uh or an additional 19, 29. Uh, that first one would have absolutely killed him. I just, I did. Sorry, yeah. they didn't, they don't have their health bars just playing. Uh, he's pumped can I, can by I the reach, first one. Can I reach this one? And turn him into bloody pulp. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that that shouldn't have the radiant on there. My bad. Uh, it's just three. Oh, is that only nine damage to that guy? Uh, no, no, no. The first guy. Um, oh, oh, oh yeah. Up. No, the second the, guy. You hit this. The yeah, crit. you reach down. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, it's still enough. Just the base bludgeoning is enough. Uh, as you crunch this person and send them to the afterlife. And then I uh, I yell at the rest of them like, "You want the rest of the you you want to wind up like your friends with skulls crushed? Come at me!" <laughs> uh, all right. If that's you standing on the prow of the boat, this grung will stop swimming closer to you and will instead throw its dagger at you. It's a seventeen. That hits. Uh, it's going to be three piercing and six poison, half to uh, one piercing, six poison, seven total damage. Uh, and then he's going to get uh, underwater, to make, like, granting himself half cover. Poison save? No, this anything? is not that kind of poison. Not on the okay. attack. Uh, underwater. Belthak, you are not surprised. Yay! We're gonna sacred flame. The man at the back. You, you way over there. The guy under the water. Under the water. Ah, wow. Fucking squares. Okay. Uh, God, so many spells. So many spells. That is a seven on the deck save. This guy in the back here will take nine radiant. Just barely live. 
And for uh, shits and giggles, uh, this one. Basic. Spiritual weapon. Basic spiritual weapon. Uh, just a classic. A classic. spiritual weapon. That's my favorite. It's seasoned to perfection with frog blood, maybe. We'll Everybody it. knows I have this best spiritual weapon. I have the best uh, spiritual weapon. It's purple. It's uh, 14 will hit. Excellent. Let's take spiritual weapon. Seasoned to perfection. For 7 force damage. Very nice. Alright, is that you? <laughs> that is me. <laughs> okay, in the back here. No. Oh no. In the back here, this guy is going to fire with advantage at Rylus with his short bow. An 11 will miss. Grimka. Grim, come on. Grim, ah. I'm like a Pokemon. Oh, you're surprised. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, this guy. Quim. Quim. Chuck, dagger. Solani, a natural 20. Uh, I totally have an amount of armor. Six piercing, 11 poison, 17 total. Okay. Okay. I take it. I take with pride. Uh, Rylus, dagger, 15. Misses. Uh, this guy in the back shoots an arrow. He'll also shoot at Rylus. A 23. Hits. Five piercing, half to two, plus four poison, six total. Uh, this guy's gonna swim away from the fucking magical shit. Uh, and, uh, throw his dagger at, uh, Solani. Uh, 15. Do it, you won't. No, that will miss. Okay. This guy is going to get to here and throw his dagger at Rylus. And with a 10, because his hands are shaking. And then he's going to go under the water and continue swimming. Uh, he is out of your reach, Rylus. Uh, uh, Solani, you are no longer surprised. You can take oh, yeah. reaction now if you would like. Uh, which is pertinent because an arrow comes flying at you. Short bow, 18. That will be a shield. All right, that will bounce off of the shield. I hope you recover quickly. Uh, you see oh, a so final close. grung rise up out of the water. And then you see him rise further and further up. He's ascending. Lifted. On the back and head of a massive dinosaur. Bruh! Oh. Godzilla! You see the four Grung on the back are standing in a howdah. The low walls giving them half cover on the back of this gargantuan dinosaur. You can see despite the dull red scales and orange frills, the Grung have painted this creature with mud and some kind of green natural paint to give it camouflage as well as draping it with kelp and dried ferns. The Titanosaurus gives a loud bellowing roar. And it's going to charge for you with half of its remaining speed. I don't even see this fucker. He's way south. He's oh, so he fucking is. bad. There he is. That's that's too big, sir. He's got Titan in the name, bro. He earned it. Hey, why is my why is my thing broken? Because spiritual yeah. weapon blocks away. No. Oh my god. Uh, okay, this creature has gargantuan size. Uh, meaning that uh, friendly creatures can occupy a space, but anything else is uh, forcibly pushed 
out of a space that this creature tries to enter, a uh, DC strength check. Uh, so you see the grungs are sort of pushed <laughs> forward towards the boat by its arrival. Uh, but it did have to dash as it stood up out of the water to get here. Uh, we're back at the top of the turn order. Uh, from above you and behind cover, a uh, fucking uh, bow twangs from these yellow uh, elite looking grung. Uh, 17. Or, oh yeah, you're still advantage on Rylas. 17, Rylas. That it. Uh, 6 piercing, half to 3, plus 6 poison, 9 total. And that is your turn. I would like to use Blessing of the Raven Queen to teleport onto the dinosaur. Absolutely. Ooh. Oh my god. And now oh, I'm going baby. to beat it to death. Okay. Uh, you need to make me some sort of save to land on as you're outside of the, like, uh, howda that the small creatures of the grungs are in. I have 30, um, I have 30 feet of movement, and I, I figure it's coming towards me. Can I see, like, where the grung are and teleport into that? They're, they're, like, imagine that there are... Here, let me draw a thingy. There's, like... Eh. There's, like, a small barrier there that they're inside of, essentially. Like, it's strapped to this thing's back, which is it, it which essentially gives them a railing and something to hold on to. It's not that you'll, like, immediately... Uh, Put you out athletics to, like, allow me to jump and then teleport into there, or, like... It would be an... The problem is you're teleporting into an occupied space. So you could teleport close and try and grab on, but that would be represented by the deck save that I'm giving you. It basically, it's just to get good footing as you teleport to a few inches above this thing's back and land on a moving, charging dinosaur. Cool. Okay. I'm totally happy to let you do this. I I, I am the biggest fan of j ride the giant thing. It's just hard because you have a giant heavy hammer right. in each hand instead of a bladed weapon or something like yeah. that. Uh, but yeah, deck save just to stick the landing. Uh, I'll, with an 18, I'll let you do it. You hook uh your offhand uh hammer. Uh, into the walls of the small barrier uh, of the fort that these grungs are in, and they all start cheering at you at once. Okay. Uh, first attack is reckless, and it is on uh, one of the grungs in the howda. Okay. Closest one to you? Yeah. When it definitely hits, you whack this thing in the head. Uh, 23 will, uh, nearly bloody this creature. Uh, I'll hit it again. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll do a menacing attack on it's, that guy. It's so good. Um. Uh-huh. Let's see that damage first before I bother making a save. Yep, that's what I thought. God damn. Uh, uh, what does that look like? Uh, just be like, I look at the other guy and I'm like, you're next. And, uh, I, uh, like crush his skull and drip the entrails off and then step in, uh, and action surge. <laughs> oh uh -huh. God. And attack another one. Oh, does a 15 hit? Uh, 15 is still going to hit. Uh, I'll do a menacing attack on this one to make him scared of me. I'm sorry, which one was it? Uh, the token the other forward okay. one. Sorry. Yep. Another menacing. Ugh, not great. Uh, 15, and that's a wisdom save. Yes. D that's a 10. That'll fail uh, d no matter the DC. So they are frightened of you. Yeah. Alright, just, just roll another crit. You'll be fine. 
Uh, and then, so that was, this is my second attack in the action surge. 22 will hit the same one. Uh, one more damage. Or I'll do another menacing attack, but on a different one to try and make them scared. Okay, they're the same creature, so I'll allow it. Uh, 21 on this one. And wisdom save. That's a natural 20 from that one. Oh, well, he's fine, but still takes 21 damage. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Rylus, you leap out of the boat, teleport in the air with a flutter of the sound of raven's wings, land on the back of this thing uh, 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 as it is charging, hook the hammer in, clear space, and just start going to town. You're not in there with them. They're in there with you. Uh, if I, I, I have to assume that that's your turn. That, that is all I could do, yes. Okay. Uh, seeing that the greatest uh, uh, threat to their uh, brains or as far as these... Would, oh. would pushing the, the last one that I hit mm -hmm. five feet back, would that like push him off the thing? No, these are small creatures, uh, okay. so even these low barriers are would uh, 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 stop that that movement. Okay. Uh, okay, this grung is going to swim up out of the water and into the boat. That's illegal. Uh, no, he gets into the boat. He stabba the salani. No. Uh, a. Oh, I forgot to do something. Oh well, a nine. To it soon. Well, believe it or not, that'll miss. That's crazy. I know, right? Uh, Velthek. There's a grung crouching half on, half off the, top, the front of your canoe. This is not allowed. This is not a coffee creamer. Uh, bop him. The power of septing, septing his sovers. Incept him. Uh, yeah, you sept him. Uh, yes, golf club. As Divine Strike is leveled up. Does he have plus four strength now? Me? Yeah. I've always been a strong cleric. Crazy. I've literally uh, always been strong Alright, you cleric. kill him. He falls off of the boat and is never seen again. Excellent. As we will use the spiritual weapon to stab a grown. The uh, the grung are more than 20 feet off of the ground. Stab the titan. Or off of, off of the surface of the water. You have it stabbed the, the leg. I'm just going to put it over here so it's no longer in the thing. Uh, you can give it a swing at the titanosaurus. Hop, 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 hop. I've seen you in Godzilla. You're cool as shit. You're like one of my favorites from the early days. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, can I have an autograph? Sir, sir can I get an autograph? <laughs> You're cool as fuck. Will a 19 hurt this big-ass motherfucker? Uh, 19 will hit this big-ass motherfucker. Hey! That's what cook. That is... Uh... Eight. Yeah, 8, uh, force damage will sink into this creature's, uh, body. It does not seem to have a defense against force damage. Uh, however, it will... Roar in response, as that's the end of your turn, it'll use a legendary action. Woo! Or, more specifically, it will use three. It plants the opposite foot, uh, the one not just stabbed, and gives a spin. Uh, the massive tail is going to uh, swing out, and I need everybody in this 20-foot cone to make me... Uh, or is going to... Uh, have a, a, a t uh, the tail swing at them. Uh, we'll go Helena, Solani, and then Velthek. 30 to hit Helena, 18 to hit Solani, 27 to hit Velthek. Disadvantage? Or no, I need to do that with disadvantage. Oh, sorry, 25 to hit Velthek. A lot better, but no. yes. Uh, good. and the uh, boat. Goodbye, 32 bro. to hit the boat. Okay. Uh, oh, Helena is going to take 35 bludgeoning damage. Uh, Solani, does an 18 hit you? 
An 18 does not. Okay, and Velthika 25 still does hit you? Of course. Okay, that's going to be 40 bludgeoning damage. Goddamn. Uh, and the boat is going to is gonna take even more. The boat is going to shatter with 44 bludgeoning damage. As it is... Thank fuck we took the paper boat. Splintered into nothing. Georgie Sanders. The four of you find yourselves dumped into the water. I knew I should have cast water walking. Uh, 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 let me go refresh myself on the swimming rules briefly. Me. Disadvantage on everything. Fucking disadvantage on everything. Drowning if possible. Yeah. Boop -da -boop -da -boo. Lesson of the day. Never a second. Uh, yeah, none of you have a swim speed, so literally everything's a disadvantage. Terrain is difficult, and you have to uh, maintain to swim. Okay. Uh, this Grong uh, is gonna try and fucking uh, fight off Rylus, who is here to uh, bring the pain. Let's see. Uh, Rylus, this Grung's churring is going to get louder and louder until it is the only thing you can hear. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw versus stunned as it attempts to use mesmerizing churr on you. Oh, I'm, I'm not good at those. I believe uh, in you. I'm gonna use fanatical focus. Okay. To allow me to reroll. I'm assuming a 12 fails. I'll tell you if it fails bef uh, if you decide to reroll or if you tell me you're not going to reroll. Well, it says if I fail a saving throw, so. Oh, you do have to fail it. Oh, no, a 12 will succeed. That's the DC. Oh. Okay, cool. Do you succeed? Yeah. Nice. Uh, he cheers at you and you just look at him like he's stupid. Uh, Grimka, you are in the fucking water. You are wet Which as one shit. Which at me? Uh, directly south. Okay. Can I. I... Uh, howl at him. Can I, uh, climb, like, is this bank? Can I actually no. climb out of this, or is it too high up? No, that's the the wall of That's the... a wall. Oh my yeah. god, okay. You could uh, swim up, climb to, the up raft to the raft. raft. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, can I climb onto the raft with Georgie? I'm gonna say there's not enough space for you to get onto the raft with the way Georgie currently is. You're gonna have to have him move back, but that's gonna unbalance the raft. Um... There isn't I... space for more than just him on here, because he's a big metal boy. Hmm. I start grabbing river rocks and throwing them at grown heads. <laughs> and so uh, the water is the... deeper than you can. Like it's murky, and you're not sure how deep it is here. Okay, I pull a knife out of my out of my pocket and throw and catapult it towards this one side. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so over put your hand on the uh, on the raft. Hold it. <laughs> pull the dagger and it just shoots at the grung. Uh, deck save. That's a crit fail. Uh, and it slices this grung's eyeballs out. Fuck you! <laughs> and Georgie can't do range attacks, so... Bark, How deep is the water? You can find out. Um... Make him jump in the water. It's a fantastic idea. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Not yet. It'll stay for now. That's me. Is Selena not in the turn order? Okay. I have oh, to see her. This is 7... 18? No, 7-18's me. I just put her in. She's got a 13. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Grimka's turn will go to this Grung. 
who will swim and attack uh, Solani with advantage. A 22. Uh, that will fail for my shield. Still shielded, okay. Uh, yeah, that was the, my second, right after my um, end of my surprise, I was able to do that. Nice. Uh, this Grung is also going to try and stab you. That's an 11, though. Uh, Helena that is will... in here. Her Yay. sword Yay. is quenched by the water, and it is shitty. However, she can still swing her sword. She swims a little bit and swings her sword at this grung and still gets a fucking 21 and cuts it into two pieces. Awesome. Goddamn. She swims another five feet and she swings the sword and still gets a fucking 20 and cuts the grung into two pieces. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> She will look up at the giant dinosaur and swim back the remaining five feet of speed she has. Because fuck that. At least she got the clean up. Action. Uh, well, no. No action search. No action search, just a dash. Uh. Grung. Can they also try and chur you? Or is it. Yeah, he's gonna. There. He tries to chur. Chur. He churs at you, uh, 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 Rylus. I need you to make a wisdom save. One turn. Brum, brum, brum. Damn it. Ah, fuck. fuck. Shit. <laughs> uh, Grung. This Grung attacks, uh, Velthek. It's at normal because you're underwater. That's Yay! a 19. Okay. <laughs> uh, Solani, you're underwater. Alright. So, technically. These guys aren't aligned, but I know it's like different size points. If I was to cast lightning bolt through here, would you allow me to hit all four of these targets? Or no, is that... I would let you hit the guy on its head and the titanosaurus, and you don't have sight of these guys on its I back have from your very low guys. angle. But you could shoot uh... it up through its head to the one riding on its head and controlling it. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Fuck okay. it. Fuck this dragon and... Look, actually, fuck this grung and the dragon he rode in. And I went to the wrong button yet again. You'll love Where this. The they rolled a 9 people? and a 6, respectively. Yeah, they did. But you know, that's lightning lure. That's the... <laughs> where the fuck is lightning bolt? Seven? Where the fuck is lightning... Wait, where the fuck... What? Where's Lightning it's Bolt? Like, where's Lightning Bolt, Solani? Solani, where's Lightning Bolt? Where's my Lightning Bolt? It's, I don't Solani. know! Why is it out here? Solani! What the fuck? Oh, it, it goes asking for the input value. Wait. Wait, no. There's no input value for Lightning Bolt. What the fuck? Am I going crazy? Solani. Wait, what? Where's wait, Lightning what, Bolt? This? And what's Solani lightning never bolt? had the spell in the first place. <laughs> yeah, she's it's making a, it up. It's she, she has a fever dream. Oh, she finally oh, realized this Lightning wait, Bolt was a lie. liar. Alright, fuck it. I'm just rolling 86. Okay, oh, they both fail. Fuck this shit. It's on my spell sheet. Why is there no attack button for it? 26. Alright. And you said I could see where this guy is standing, right? Yes. You can, Well, you can see him on its head. I, I don't know that you can, like, see his feet or whatever, but yeah. Would you allow me to face step up there? It is more than 30 feet away now that you are in the water. Okay. And the, and the head is also much higher than the back. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, then I guess... It, would, that, would there still be Im imbalance bullshit if I teleport on the boat? You guys basically would need to do a thing where Georgie moves back and two people get on the front at the same time, or else the thing will pipple. Alright, I'll, I'll just There's only room for Georgie to be back here, really, but then you can see from his token, he's like hanging off. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna swim over there then, get ready for when we gotta move to Georgie, I'm gonna cast plates on myself. Thank God 5e isn't realistic at all, because you just, from the water, shot a lightning bolt up. Like, yeah, you, all, you, I all, mean, it's a, I didn't... you all should be fucked <laughs> by that. It's fine. 
I shot it from uh, my finger that was out of the water. It's fine. Perfect. Yeah, you're totally dry finger. Um, this grung, you, uh, you won't even guess, is going to chur at you, Rylas. They really want to stun you so that you don't kill them next turn. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Uh, this guy up here is going to uh, rain down arrows. Uh, let's see. Yeah, probably the spellcaster. Shortbow, 21, Solani. Uh, now that I have my blade song up, that will miss. Okay. Then we will go to the Titanosaurus. Yeah, uh, we'll get a... Hold on. We'll get a stomp. Mm. And then a stomp. Mm. And then it is going to... Kill them. Uh, push this grung... So it's 10 feet, 20 feet feet here. Is it is going to why is why does it keep doing that? Let me just select the thing. There we go. It is going to uh move its gigantic gargantuan form over Helena and Velthek. I need you both to make dexterity saving throws. Oh, right. I'm Helena. <laughs> it... Dex. Uh, okay. Helena is going to fail. Velthek, you will succeed. Just barely. Uh, that'll be 20 bludgeoning to Helena. She would be knocked prone if she wasn't already in the water. Uh, Velthic, you take half. Uh, so ten. Mm -hmm. And then it will use its action to stomp deliberately. Yeah. Uh, and as the uh, as the man said, kill the caster. Yeah, you can try. Advantage, Stomp, Solani. Nope, that's not great. How's a 23? Uh, a shield. Darn it. Okay. You're making me use up those shields, so uh, that's I good for you. <laughs> uh, how long is this one grung frightened of you? Uh, I think just until the end of my next of this turn um, okay it's still frightened double, of you then let me double check uh menacing attack we need a creature with a weapon attack you can expend one superiority die to attempt to make the frighten the target you add the superiority die to the damage the target makes a wisdom saving throw on a failed save the target is frightened until the end of your next turn so at the end of this turn it will not be frightened anymore. yeah what would you like to do uh, I am going to, uh, let's see, um, I've hit this one, and I've hit the one that's frightened, right? The one below has... The one directly is... south is fresh. Okay. Um, I'll hit the one kitty corner recklessly. Good use of kitty corner. Uh, what a loss. Oh, no! His life and body. 17 damage. Ouchie. And then I'll hit him again. He is bloodied by that. Uh, and. Definitely hit. We'll try and make him frightened. Do a menacing attack. Dang, dog. Uh, for another 18. Uh, oh. He is kilted. -did -did -did. Okay. Well, that's less fun. Um, and I look at the other two and be like, you still want to go? You can leave. And that's me. Our bonus action. Uh, hammer the one that's scared. Okay. 
28 hits. You hammer the shit out of him. Yeah, he's bloodied. For another 11. Uh, and that's me. Alrighty, we'll go to Velthek in the water under the big fucking dinosaur. It's pain down here. Uh, fuck. Can I get in front of it? Question mark? I'm like swimming away? Uh, you can move. It's already difficult terrain swimming, so it's not quadruple difficult terrain or anything like that. Debating on what to do here. Apologies. All oh, fucked anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty shitty situation. <laughs> Drawing an ambush in the narrow hallway with a Titanosaurus is crazy, and I can't believe the uh, random encounter generator has given me this. I can't believe it's not butter. Uh, we will try to inflict thy wounds. Ooh. Okay. Disadvantage so normal? Yep. Um. <laughs> Let's go, Gam. Level 8. I can't even cast at that level 7. Level 7. Do uh, it. Fine. Do it. I need those for later. Do at level 5. Level 5. 19 will hit. Mm. He stomped at me. I took his leg. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, 42. And then we are having this thing coming, floating on up to slap whatever hams we can within the 20 foot reach. You should be able to move it. Oh, that's true. I forgot. Mm. Uh, does that give you advantage? Or is this thing too big? No, this, yeah. The spiritual weapon is not distracting it nearly enough to give advantage. That's fair. God, my spell list continues to grow. Okay. Uh, swingy, swingy. Apologies, my dyslexia is getting better in me right now. Oh, I was trying to read your spell list. It is not just your dyslexia. That is... But, uh, in an insane mm. way. Uh, 17 will just hit. The juiciest weapon yet. Alrighty. That is me. Okay. At the end of your Run. turn, uh, since it can't do that for necrotic damage or force damage, it will do a uh, tail thunder again. Ah! A twenty foot cone of fucking tail damage. Let's see. That's a pretty cool cone. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Grimgus creations. No. The boat and your jeep. Hail Where attack. We'll start with the uh, raft up there. A twenty, which will hit. Uh, then we'll do Grimka. A wow. Wow. A 16. Nope. Uh, Solani, a 23. Well, and missed. Velthek, a 30. Christ. Jesus. <laughs> uh, so only Velthek is hit? Uh, sounds like it. Or Velthek and the, uh, the raft. And the raft. Uh, with 39 bludgeoning damage. Uh... The raft is going to have, for its size, I rolled low on damage. Yeah, the raft has six HP left. The raft has 45 HP based on its size. <laughs> uh... Velthek, you're going to take 51 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. That was really not that. That would put me into a death ward pop. Okay. 
What the fuck is happening? Alright, this no guy up here ever. is going to uh, dagger you. Unless you recklessly attacked, yes? Yes, sir. Uh, 15? Miss! Unfortunate. Uh, this Grung is then going to uh, use its standing leap to jump uh, 25 feet away and land in the water. You do get an attack of opportunity as it jumps away from you. Sure. Um, or do I want to save it for the one that I've been beating the shit out of? Decisions, decisions. Ah, I'll go ahead and do this one. This is a normal, right? It's not reckless? Yeah. Or can I make yeah. it reckless? No. Uh, nine. Minimum damage. Nine damage? He yes. will land in the water with a plop. Uh, and begin to swim. Grimka! You're in the water. You can see massive cracks in the wood. Oh. Yeah, not great. Um, not, not super dope. Hmm. I... I'm gonna... At this point, I might just have to have Georgie jump in the fucking water. <laughs> Do something. Um, but they're the nowhere covered. Not Egypt. destroy the raft, or no, not, not one, entirely. This one is much bigger and made of like solid trees, whereas the the other one was a manufactured canoe made to be light and easily oh, right. carryable. Yeah. This was much like, and I also rolled like almost ten more damage for the one on, for the hit on the raft versus the one. Or ten less damage on the raft versus the canoe. Uh, okay. I am going to bet everything on Helena and cast haste. <laughs> okay. And have Georgie Helena in the water so that we can get. Well, I can't see Rylas from here. Or I would give it to yeah. him. Uh, and then have Georgie move so that we could get back, we could get, uh, get up on the, uh, thing. Crap. Even though it might go down soon. <laughs> Still. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can try to get, like, to the shore from the raft. I didn't know if we established we can't do that yet or not. There, there's not, like, a shore. Okay. It's like, a, we're next to a wall. You're in the canal. Remember. Can I can I uh Remember. get up on there now? Uh yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, you are prone and do not have enough movement to stand up. Oh, I'm prone. Wait, that's highlighting both of them. There you go. I stay here then in the water. Oh my god. I mean, you don't want to get up. Oh, I thought you said I couldn't. Okay. No, I, I said you me. could. I just said you stay prone. Okay. Okay. Is that you? Yeah. All right. Helena is hasted. She gets out of this thing square so she doesn't get stomped on anymore. And is going to uh, swing at it uh, four times at disadvantage now. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. What, what the oh, fuck? Oh, no. You what the shit? That's what not was... great. Let's go gambling. Aw, oh, dang it. Aw, oh, dang it. Aw, oh, dang it. Aw, oh, dang it. The Alright, then you action that? surge and do it again. Action what? surge! <laughs> Three oh, more wait. times! It's the cursed turn! Okay, well. Kind of Who knows will hit for uh, 27 <laughs> total? Oh, God. The fuck was that? <laughs> Which will officially bloody this thing. And she pumps her wow. fist. Yeah! Take that! 
<laughs> Second wind. D10 plus 14. I really don't want to use a high level spell slot on this thing. 721. Uh, and she can swim back a little bit and put her hand on the raft. She's got a lot of speed. Uh, the Grung is going to try and stab you. No, he's not. He's he's really injured. He's going to disengage. And he stabs. He can run off. I don't have a reaction. Oh, right. You did already swing. Okay. Then he is going to try and stab you. That's a 13. That misses. Uh, he's off. He swim. Uh, this guy is gonna... Hmm. Eeny, meeny, my... I mean, he can see how injured Velthic is. Let's stab the Velthic, right? Uh, Grung, disadvantage. That's a nine. Uh, Solani. During the water, you can see a spot on the... the thing yeah Craft. all right so so how so it'd be moving up here would i still have movement to get up from prone or would i have to stay no prone? because it's 20 feet okay. to crawl and you would need 15 feet to get up oh wait do you all have right. 35 speed or no yeah i have 40 speed oh yeah then you can stand laser. up with five feet remaining or no because will... your speed is 20 no yeah you can stand up with no yes yeah, so i'm sorry stand up can Ooh, I so see the back of this thing? Uh, yeah, you can see Rylus. Oh, uh, well. Is it worth it even go up there anymore now is the question. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Why not? Uh, let's fuck up a grung up there. Get rid of the arch. I'm going to face step up here as bonus action. And then okay, I'm give me gonna... a save. Okay, I'm good. I'm good at those. Surely this won't bite me in the ass. Yeah, okay, see. Grab onto of the edge of the hauser. All right, uh, I will attack this grung with my rapier. Oh, you're going up onto the head. Uh, Remember the this head. Is where... this, this guy is riding up on the head. The 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 back. So I'm is not here. adjacent to him. If you were going to I'm the back, Jason you would then. not be adjacent to him. No, the head is right. up higher than 30 feet. Then I guess I'm not teleporting then. Apologies. All right. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I guess I'll just blight the, the Titan because he's fucking us up. Okay. So I guess I'll just blight him. Okay. Eh. Uh, con save. That was too many ones. That is a 14 he would not have advantage on that roll. So, uh, 25 um, necrotic damage. Um, right. That's um, a big much... chunk of what he's got. That's nice. There's not much else I can do with my bonus action. I can't teleport onto land. I could teleport onto him, but I don't know if that's going to be that helpful. So, I suppose I will stay here. Alrighty. Uh, we'll go to this Grung warrior on his uh, head. He's going to fire his short bow. Uh, the only other person in the water that he can see. Uh, Helena will get hit with uh, 24 for uh, 17 total damage. Piercing a poison. And the Titanosaurus. We'll make a stomp attack at Velthek. Normal because of foresight. A 20. Would miss. All right. The slip of the shield, you uh, dodge out of the way. Uh, and for a moment, the audience sees the exact same move Velthek pulled when he was falling down the goddamn mine shaft where he pulled his shield at the last second to, to, to hit the ground at an angle. The, he deflects the foot slightly with his magical shield. Thank God uh, it's this magic. thing is gonna roar. Uh, 
Rylus. You're alone on this yes. thing's back. You can see 20 feet up this thing's long neck, uh, a grung holding on to a, peer, a pair of metallic wires that appear to be driven into this dinosaur's head. Can I just uh, try and break this dinosaur's back? You can do whatever the fuck you want. All right, I'm just gonna like hammer time down onto the dinosaur. Uh, I guess I'll recklessly attack. Sure. Oh, let me turn on Divine Fury. Uh, 19 damage. Okay. Slam. Ten. 24 hits. Another and 10. More. Wham. 19 hits. Okay. 11 uh. more. Bam. Action surge. I've already action surged. So Fuck. I can't, I can't do that. That's me. All right, uh, it's going to use legendary action to make a singular tail attack at you. As it swings its tail up and shatters this uh, barrier that you're in, knocking the grungs into the water. I need you to make me, or no, no, this is an attack roll, sorry. Uh, uh, tail advantage, uh, 24 to hit. That definitely hits. Okay, then you need to make a uh, strength saving throw versus being knocked prone. Okay, and, I have advantage. Oh, God. 54 halves to 27 bludgeoning damage. You have advantage on the strength save, yes. All right, you'll maintain your footing. Uh, we'll go to Velthek. Get the fuck out of here. So... Yeah, no, as much as it's very selfish, I do apologize. It's the only thing I can do to guarantee some fucking survival. Useless. You! No. Ooh, etherealness. As I... Mm -hmm. Pray and vanish from sight going into the border realm. He said, Bye, bitch. Uh, okay, Velthek, you use your action to cast Etherealness and disappear from this world. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're gone. I will then Twilight Step, because it's the Ethereal Realm, there is no sun here. Uh huh. And fly the fuck out of the water for a brief moment to regain my footing. Okay. Uh, that, that will be me. Okay. You're how far above the water? Uh, full 30 feet. Okay. Uh, this guy. Where's this guy? Oh, this guy is fucking gone. He flees successfully. Grimka. Mika. Stand up. I stand. You're concentrating and... on haste. Yes, I am. I am just gonna be cheeky and just start throwing firebolts at this big, big dinosaur. Uh, sorry, Georgie, you weren't useful this time. 19 will hit. Wow. 19 for 19. Nice. Very nice. Doesn't look like you could take another one as you burn a large hole in its skin. All right, someone else kill him. Okay. <laughs> That's me. Helena. Helena oh, raises her sword and goes towards the massive creature once more. Vortex. 
at disadvantage. Four attacks at disadvantage. Oh, oh my god. Oh, there you go. She hit the... Let's what? go gambling. Uh, it does take all four attacks to kill this creature. Oh my god. Uh, as she stabs into it and it falls into the, uh, water. Uh, Rylus and the Grung, uh, both of your footings tumble out from underneath you. Uh, you're going to need to make me, uh, Dexterity saves to not fall on uh, dangerous parts of this thing's back as you fall, uh, what did I say, 30 and uh, 50 feet respectively. Would so can danger I get a... tense apply in this situation? Um, sure. Spider sense would help. Right. Yeah. You have advantage on dexterity saving throws against effects you yeah. can be, so. Yeah, it would help. Okay. I'll give you half damage on the falling damage then. So 30 feet would be 3d6. So for you, you take 12, half, 6, and it's bludgeoning, so it's half to get to 3. Grung also succeeded. 50 feet, half, uh, so 13, half to 6 as well. Uh, and you both uh, land on your feet, despite the large fall. Uh, and Helena crows in victory. And lights her sword on fire, despite it being wet, uh, burning the blood and water off. Uh, she'll use the last of her movement to crawl onto its, like, now dead body. Uh, Helena will yell, fuck you! Uh, <laughs> this guy runs. This Grong, uh, swims down so deep that you can no longer see him. Solani. Uh, I don't feel like using any more spells up on this encounter, so I'm going to firebolt the one in front of Helena. Okay. And this button I do have. For 16 fire damage. What does perfect damage look like? Just a just a headshot engulf his head in flames, and then just sit on the belt going, "The fuck was all that?" <laughs> uh, I hate this fucking jungle. <laughs> Where the fuck is I been hiding this whole time? <laughs> Congratulations, you guys encountered a grung ambush. The oh grung apocalypse. The <laughs> grung apocalypse. What does the Grung know that they can make friends with dinosaurs when no one else in the jungle can? I do, titan giant stars. I do have to go to sleep. I'm dying inside. Oh no, not inside. <laughs> and out. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, you guys please mark down 5,000 experience. Yeah. Thank you. Thank so you. much for going in stealthily. Can't believe Godzilla showed up. Or at least the one of the enemies. Near uh, did you guys have 144,000 previously? Yep, that's where I'm yeah. at. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. I wasn't sure if that was what we had or if that was what I had before, because then I had a note to it for the last few sessions going, remember, we're going to level up to 14. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. I need to go use the bathroom desperately and make myself something to eat, but I'll stay in the chat if anybody wants to hang. But thank you all for coming. It's always fun to play this game. Thank you very much for the tomorrow. All right. We'll probably bounce, but thank you very much for running. Good night. Of course. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Yep. Take care. When do you, when, how long does the theory of this last? By the way, up to eight hours. Eight so hours. He can pop back whenever yeah. he wants. That's that's but my emergency. He, are hour. you aware of what's? Yeah, I can see everything. All right. Well, I. Uh, All right. As for. Yeah. So if he wanted to like fly through one of the walls, um, to get into the area without us, he totally could because ethereal this 
you can go through barriers in the physical world unless it specifically says it extends into the ethereal plane. Mm -hmm. Right, but he'd only really be able to scout, and then he'd have to come back to us. Right. Pretty fucking much, but that's not. And we don't have any way to communicate with him until he comes back. I could do ascending, but that there's a five percent chance that somebody else is listening. Yeah, that or, is actually unfortunate because you could take this chance to go scouting, but if you can't convey that to us, that could be problematic. It's also really dangerous because it's the ethereal realm. Uh, creatures do live here. Yeah, yeah. As much as everyone would be like, oh, it's fucking safe haven forever, it's like, no, there are fucked creatures in the ethereal realm. See, that's fair. All right, well, who would have thought we'd need this many resources on a random encounter, but it was just bad positioning all around, unfortunately. Yeah, I definitely um, need to take a short rest, so... I had to clap back. out, because otherwise going down was not exactly great for a dead weight in a fucking river. Yeah, I apologize, we could not... Get Velthag out of there. No, I, there was I, nothing to do there. That was that was horror like, and fuck. I I could have. I I I'm just been so hesitant to use my higher things up because I know we're about to go into much deeper shit that I was very.